downloaded the zip file and then I'm unzipping and now I have here the process simulation folder unzipped and when I'm going into I, I can see the geometrical model of iron ore. The other Excel files are opened uh, used by the program HSC chemistry. So double clicking this one at, and uh, and the simulation will be opened in HSC chemistry HSC sim program and now we're going to go through what other how to use this simulation first of all when the program opens it's uh, in uh, designing mode so that basically you could do changes but this simulation is ready-made so you don't need to actually do any any changes and and that's not uh, re even recommended because it's been created for you to use in the program in the geometallurgy uh, course to go to the simulation press the start simulation button or f5 and to simulate you simply press calculate and and now the number of simulations is given in this rounds uh, uh, text box or the uh, no, bo uh, box so five rounds is basically enough because this is an open circuit simulation so there is no circulating loads which means that the uh, five simulation rounds are enough what uh, the program what what happens in the simulation is then that it uh, uh, run the ore into the process in this uh, in this at the moment it goes to the line number two goes to the gravity separation and then it's uh, concentrated concentrate is produced and the tail is produced some uh, results are giving here blue ones so what is the feed iron what is the solids uh, sg so density and feed rate and then the yellow ones indicated here are the output of the simulation and uh, and then you can use these parameters to evaluate the uh, uh, result of the simulation you can also look the results here so for example iron you see that the material going in is 36 percent and then concentrate 69.2 tailing 20.5 and for example silica pretty high silica in the concentrate and then uh, recoveries you will find find also here iron recoveries etc now to the uh, what the information the simulation use what are the input information that's are those input informations are given in this table double clicking this one will show blue values are the ones which you can change and you should change red one is a, a product of the simulation so that's an output what the so inputs are what line do you feed the material one if you want to feed it number one you change it to number one and press enter so one and enter and basically then you can run the simulation here so if we once we change it to number one run five simulation rounds you see that the material goes now into the line one and uh, concentrates and tails are coming out and now you see iron recoveries of the uh, concentrates and then tail and appetite concentrate is here the other parameters the you need to fill in is the bond work index so if you put a higher value 15 and then you see that the simulation uh, that that will change the feed rate how much the how how much the material you feed in the process or let's say other ways other uh, other words that how much 
you, uh, the process is capable to take. Uh, and then the next parameter is grain size, and that's the grain size of iron oxide. So 90 microns, our recovery is 85. If the grain size is getting smaller, let's say 70 microns, and when we simulate, we will drop on our recovery. And please uh, study what happens to the head grades, uh, the, the concentrate grades and the, the quality. Then the remaining information is the mineral grades, magnetite, hematite, apatite, actinolite and albite. So let's say now we change the magnetite grade to 40%. And please, uh, uh, please notice that albite you should not type in, it's the uh, remaining 100 minus other minerals. So magnetite grade drops down and that lowers our iron recovery. So this is the way you can study how different ore types or it, how different blocks would behave in the process and then you can get the output in terms of iron recovery, concentrate mass pool, concentrate tonnages and then the quality and the quality parameters you use are iron, phosphorus and silica in the project. So this is the, how, the, how do you can use the simulation to, uh, to study the diff variation in different blocks.